cerebrum is divided into four lobes. We have the, the frontal, the temporal, the parietal, and the occipital. Each lobe may be divided once again into areas that serve very specific functions. It is important to understand that each lobe of the brain does not function alone. There are very complex relationships between the lobes of the brain and between the right and left hemisphere. So let us discuss one by one the different lobes. The frontal lobe. The frontal lobe, so here is your frontal lobe. Yung nasa unahan natin na part ng ano natin dito. So this one is your frontal lobe. So the frontal lobe is said to be the largest section of the brain located in the front of the head. The frontal lobe is involved in personality characteristics and movement. Also, recognition of smell usually involves part of the frontal lobe. The frontal lobe is concerned with our personality, behavior, emotions, judgment, planning, problem solving, speech, body movement, intelligence, concentration, and self-awareness. Then we also have the parietal lobe. So after the frontal lobe, we have the parietal lobe. Um, this is located at the middle portion of our brain. It helps a person identify objects and understand spatial relationships where one's body is compared to objects around the person. So our parietal lobe is also involved in interpreting pain and touch in the body. Okay, so specifically, our parietal lobe is um, important or responsible in interpreting language, words, sense of touch, pain, temperature. So it interprets signals from the different senses of our body. Okay, the vision, the read, the hearing, the motor, and sensor, sensory, and memory, and also the spatial and the visual perception. So that is our parietal lobe. Then we also have the occipital lobe. So after naman ng ating parietal lobe, yung ditong part na to is our occipital lobe. The occipital lobe is the back part of the brain that is involved with vision. So our occipital lobe, again, interprets vision, color, light, and movement. Then on the side of the brain is our temporal lobe. So these temporal lobes are involved in short-term memory, speech, musical rhythm, and some degree of smell recognition. Then specifically, ang ating temporal lobe is responsible for understanding language, memory, hearing, sequencing, and, and organization.